Hey everyone, so it's about midnight and I'm feeding the babies again. So, I will show you Roxy. She's ready to eat, she's hungry. <laughs> so, that's how I identify pretty much all of them. Roxy is the one with all the scratches on her. She has one here on her shoulder. She has one on her head here and also one on her eye. Um, Justin and I are really praying for Roxy and making sure that she's not gonna have any problems when she's older because um, she's so sweet. I still don't know if you guys can see. So they're much bigger now from how they were when we first found them. Um, they're much more responsive now when it comes to feeding them. They know that they're gonna get food. They're easier to feed now. And um, it's also cute to see like the little changes that they've made too. Um, we can tell that they, we know that they're gonna be black squirrels just because uh, I'm pretty sure that the mother and the father were black. We saw them. That's not my finger. There you go. So the black is starting to come out on the top of their nose a little bit. And I'll show you uh, her nails now. They're getting quite long. It's just unbelievable what nature can really do. They're just so precious. Yeah. I'm excited to when their eyes are gonna open, which is gonna be in about another three weeks, maybe three and a half weeks. See, they're much more calm now when they're eating. They know that they're gonna feed when we take them out. They've kind of gotten used to the routine that we have going, whoa, got milk. <laughs> She's so cute. If you do happen to find baby squirrels and you do find more than one, I would say it is really important to try to um, be able to tell them apart from one another so that you know who you're feeding first, who you're feeding last, because in the beginning it can take quite a bit of time to feed them. So in the two hour span, you don't wanna overfeed them. And you don't want the first one to be left hungry, so I typically always like to start with Jack just because he's the only boy and he's the fussiest I find. I don't know if Justin finds that he's that fussy with him when he eats, but he's he's probably out of the four the biggest crybaby out of all of the four, which is not a surprise, ladies. They're all the same. Man, animal, and then they're always the biggest baby. So I do like to start with Jack. And then once he's done and once we make him pee, which is like the longest pee ever, uh, then I like to go to the girls. They're much easier. Oops. So, there you see she's finished. She's like, she's like in a milk coma. There she was. Okay, all done. And you can see she has a nice big belly now. She's full. So I'll just go and I will get Stella next. <laughs> 